This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Domain.com. Well, hello there, people. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. Today, we're going to get our RSS on with one of my favorite Google Reader applications, Mobile RSS. As I mentioned in a previous episode, I'm a really big fan of cloud syncing and all of that mystical wonder and magical fairy dust associated with it. And Google Reader is another service that takes advantage of this magic through various unofficial applications. All Google Reader applications more or less have these same abilities, you know, marking things as read, marking things as favorites, sharing things, viewing an individual feed or combining all your feeds and viewing them all at once, and so on and so forth. Let's go pet the horse. So I'm gonna be focusing a little bit more on user interface, ease of use, the design of the application, and so on. And I've tried quite a few of them, and I've narrowed it down to one that I will be talking about today. Maybe a little bit more on Google Readers and later on. Mobile RSS is a fantastic, simple, and functional reader application. The user interface is similar to that of a social network app like Twitter or Google+, sprinkled with hints of the iOS email client. It's got a nifty pull down to refresh feature, thumbnails on the side, and infinite scrolling. Reading articles is equally as intuitive. Scroll up or down to read and left or right to go to the next articles. And whilst in list view, as you scroll down, the data is fixed at the top to give you a sense of where you're at which is pretty cool. There are some features of this application that really, really stood out for me. I love that you can change the fonts as well as the font sizes on the fly. I really like the larger fonts as I don't enjoy squinting to consume my very important content, such as looking at pictures of cats wearing Santa Claus hats. Like I said, very important stuff. The full screen mode is pretty cool as it makes you experience more of that like an e-reader versus a feed reader. You just become immersed in the content. Who knew taking away 50 pixels from the top can transform your ordinary viewing experience into that of a, it's pretty cool, it's a little bit better than ordinary but not so fantastic where you can save endangered species like whales, but still pretty cool kind of viewing experience. I personally don't use this one too often, but stealth mode is really, really handy for nighttime reading. Also, this may seem like a small thing, but I really dig the thumbnails. I just like looking at big pretty pictures to help me decide which articles I would like to read. There are Google Reader applications out there that don't have thumbnails. I mean, those guys just make me sad. It's like, come on, man. Let me know what you guys are going to be talking about via preview of using a 60 by 60 square. And speaking of previews, I want to introduce you guys to Techno Buffalo's newest sponsor, Domain.com. If you're setting up a website to start your business or blog, Domain.com is the best place to go to buy a domain name for your new idea. Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find your domain names and set up your website without the hassle. Domain.com quickly shows you all of the available names, making it easy for you to pick the extension that's right for you. Our friends at Domain.com would like to hook you guys up. Get 15% off your domain when you use the coupon code TB, that's the letters T and B, at domain.com's checkout. That's less than nine bucks a month. Plus, go to domain.com slash TB and they'll throw in a free two gigabyte jump drive, available while supplies last. And don't forget, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Back to the review. The mobile RSS experience is a lot richer with the iPad as you get that Mac OS line mail triple column interface. On my iPhone, I prefer listing with all of the feeds combined in one, but on the iPad, I like looking at individual sites and having the listings on the left is awesome. I feel like I have more control that way. If you want to go one step further, Mobile RSS is also available in the App Store for Mac OS. I'm not too sure why Mobile RSS has such a poor rating in the iOS App Store. I guess I can understand some reasoning as the app hasn't been updated since July or so, but it's been working fine for me. However, I would recommend sticking with the free version. The only advantage of the pro version would be no ads. And also, it would be nice if both the iPad and the iPhone versions were unified like Twitter or Facebook or something. That means that you wouldn't have to buy it twice if you decide to go pro, but eh, that's no big deal. Overall, for its clean interface, seamless syncing, and oh yes, them thumbnails, I'm gonna give mobile RSS a 4 out of 5. Some people have complained of iOS 5 issues, but I personally have not seen any, not a single bug or crash. Regardless, stick with the free version and use that money to buy a beach ball or something. Those suckers are funky as heck. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and uh, if there are any apps that you would like me to check out, let me know by commenting. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.
I think my voice died halfway through. I don't know. It feels really weird here and for some reason in my ear. I, I don't know now. I'll figure out when I'm editing and you guys would probably see it in the final cut. Um, <clears throat> yes, yes. I have to make sure I look fantastic.